Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Benke. Today, let's talk about some advanced features for function argument. So let's go with number nine here. Function with the list as argument. Say, so let me define function called my function. So I want to pass a list. So I can print out list. I can return. Yeah, maybe let's do let me do another way for x in this x equal to for the new list so new list dot append say x times two so I double the value in my old list and and I will return my new list so let me define is say one two three. Say a equal to one two three, and my function a. So b equal to my function a, and then print b. Then print a. That's right. As you can see here, the first line is my old list. This is my uh, new list. So double the values in the old list and put in the new list here. One, three, two, four, six. Okay, that's number nine. So number 10, function with plus, function plus, plus dictionary as an argument to the function. Okay, so, so if I call this, for k value in a dictionary items. So new dictionary. So I do the same thing for I pass a dictionary, but I double the value of this this old dictionary and put it in a new dictionary. Value times two or times three, right? Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, I return this new dictionary. So a one, e two, c three. So my function a. Okay, let's write. From this terminal here, the first line is my old dictionary. The keyword be ABC, the value is one, two, three. For the new dictionary, I keep the keywords, but I triple the value here. You can see they're working as I expected, right? So that's number 10. Number 11, function with arbitrary number argument. Okay, say, here, for example, argues. Okay. So let me turn it here a little bit. Arbitrary number. Okay. Say turn argues. Okay. I do nothing. I pass this arbitrary number argument, then I return it. So, okay. First, let me pass this dictionary here, since I already, I, I'm already here. So let me write how that looks like. Okay. And from the second line, you can see that it wrap up my dictionary into a tuple here. Right. So, So let me do another thing, say d equal to my function, c equal to my function, say i pass a string, California, and print. So let me do this way, 
print. So I directly print out the value here. And I do third way, say my function, say one, two, three, four, then print my function, say my army, one, two, three, four, uh, say five, six, five, six, seven, and a okay so in this function i pass a string here i pass a number here i pass string number list and the map let's see how that goes Ooh, you can see that here it wrap up the california string to a tuple then the number uh, here for the like a string number list and uh, dictionary it's all like wrap up into a tuple here is what that here is what means like arbitrary number argument so you don't need to care about the number argument don't care about the format argument you can pass whatever number argument you can pass whatever type of argument string number list dictionary so that's what i means here so let's go with number 12 function with arbitrary number argument with keywords the keyword here oh by the way for number 11 the star the single star here that does not mean like a pointer just like in the concept of c or c plus plus it just means arbitrary number argument so number 12 so i have double star for the argument so by this way the function will wrap up this argument into a dictionary type. That's why, because dictionary has a keyword. So let me let me show you an example. Say for k value in arguers atoms, I print out say k value add a little bit identify between them say uh, pound okay then for example if i didn't return here but it doesn't matter i can return here i cannot uh, say so by this way it means print my function Say a equal to one, b equal to two, c equal to three. That's right. As you can see that it wrap up the the argument into a dictionary. Say a equal to one, b equal to two, c equal to three, right? Into a dictionary here. Right? So what if I didn't follow this argument format? Say one, two, three. What do we have in? You can see that you gave me air, right? So by this way, you can only pass like a keyword here. The keyword A means A is the keyword. The first letter before the equal sign is the keyword, right? So let me show you another example. Say I change one to say New York. New York. You can see the same thing in the wrap up all my argument into a, a dictionary here. So, so I can I can give arbitrary number of argument here. For example, I can give x equal to one three point fourteen. Say z equal to at least say one point one, one point two. 1.3 so I give B no, uh, for example uh, M equal to a map say AA11 EB22 so let's let's why okay I give like a one two three four five six I give six 
number of argument. They are like a number string, floating number list and dictionary. As you can see that they wrap up all of them into a, a super map. That's what I mean for arbitrary number argument with keyword. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I can see you in my next video.